welcome to a radar system course today we see the tracking radar in a tracking radar our target is to be tracked or need to find out at what particular position or a place that target is present so in general what happen we have a transmitter and receiver and the duplexer is useful for the purpose it allow only the transmitting the signal toward the antenna when at receiving it pass the signal to the receiver not to the transmitter so that is about the role of a duplexer then signal is supposed to be transmitted through the antenna and then that is about a transmitting signal and uh, when that signal reaches to the target then we will receive a echo signal from the target now from this echo signal we can find out what will be the position of the target okay and or we can say that in, in another way we say that we need to find out the what is the location of a target and from this we will say that the target is present in a given location and we consider that location for surveillance purpose okay at that locating the target or identifying the target in which particular region is present and that is nothing but a tracking system or a tracking radar system so in this case what happened the radar is not only recognize whether there is a target present or not just like we have seen that in a moving target indicator or moving target radar mti radar so in that case we obtain there is a target whether the target is stationary or moving and we define that what is the range of that moving target and what is the velocity of this particular target but here we are not a, we will not only the see whether the target is present in the given region or not but we need to determine what is the location of the target in terms of a range and in terms of a coordinate system so we can consider here a coordinate system with azimuth and elevation or we can consider a location in the different manners so mostly if it is in a space so we use a terminology for the location of a target in terms of a azimuth and an elevation so azimuth is nothing but what location from the reference point and the elevation how much will be the angle from the reference point so we'll see that azimuth and elevation so now we need to find out the target at what particular place the target is present and not necessary only the target is stationary its target is moving and this antenna will scan that particular target in which direction it is moving so it is always scanning that particular target and identifying the location of a target throughout the region of the system of the radar bed now for tracking this antenna is to be a steerable one and then a steerable antenna it will move in any direction so that we can find out or so that we can send the signal to the target and we can observe the location of the target if there is a target present in a space or in the region of or in the range of the your system or in the range of your radar so then that target is to be detected for example i suppose to say a radar range okay is supposed to be 100 km so in that case a target within the 100 km is to be identified the radar if the target is beyond that 100 km is not able to recognize by the radar 
So, but even in, if the target is within the 100 kilometer, then we can find out that target, okay, as well as we need to find out the location of the target, where that right at a present system, where that target is present. So then here the system will provide information about the target, what is the target, where the present location of the target and what will be the future location of the target. Supposed to be this target is moving, this one is the target. So present position is right now, but what will be the next position here? So it will predict, okay, this tracking radar, it is to be predict where the will be the target after one minute or one second, 10 seconds likewise. So that's the what a prediction is to be there. And these are the prediction useful for the surveillance or, or uh, providing the direction to the missile, providing the direction to the aircraft or, or we can use in a war field identifying the location and then uh, we can provide the direction to the missile the given direction. Okay, so that is about the tracking graph. So we can use this for prediction. Okay, we need to predict what will be the present status of the target and what will be the next status of the target. So according to that, we can provide the direction to the device. And then that, that the information will be useful for the uh, a, for the surveillance and all other example, all other communication purpose. Okay, so that's what we can say that a tracking radar is used to identify what is the location of a target, what is the range of the target, and then it is able to predict what will be the presence of the target and at what will be the place, okay, after 10 seconds, where will the target is to be present. Okay, that is about the prediction. So that based on that, what will be the methodology is used in a, a tracking radar to identifying the target as well as the prediction. So there are the types of a radar, types of a tracking radar. So we can say that tracking radar here, there is the types we can consider how many object or how many target will be tra traced by the radar. So based on that or within a particular range, whether it is to be predict or not. Okay, so likewise, so there are the based on that, based on the various features, so they have the different types of a tracking radar. So we'll see that single target tracker. So in a single tracker, tracker target, okay, so we need to track only the whatever the single target here. Okay, so whatever that, that is about a tracking. So means this one is used to send a continuous signal to a particular target. Okay, only single identifying the target first and we need to use this single target tracker, track that con uh, target first, identify the target, track the target continuously by sending the data. And then based on that, whatever the continuous sending the data with a, with a given speed, or we can say that with a given data rate, so we can find out or can observe the target property. Now this single target tracker that is useful, used in a military application. Or we can consider that guiding the missile, okay, and controlling the, or we can say that nav navigate the missile in a given particular direction. So that is called as a missile weapon control radar, or you can say that a military guided radar. There. So that, that continuously tracking the radar 
with a given particular data to be sent. Okay, so then what happened here? Because the target is moving, so in that case, our antenna position that is to be towards the given particular target. So, for example, I say that the radiation pattern of the antenna is likewise. And in the given particular radiation pattern, so this one is about our target. Okay, this one is about the target present now. So in this case, we can easily find out what will be the target. If supposed to be our target is present here, okay, in this case, if your target is here now, so it will not present within the range of this antenna okay or you can say that antenna is not able to identify or recognize this particular target so now this one is able this one is able to identify the target position okay so because it is that target is present within the given range now i say that if supposed to be this target is moving this target is moving in the given particular direction or in this given direction. So in that case, so your the, that antenna is to be moved. So that's why we can say that a radiation pattern of an antenna will be different for the according to the direction of the a target. Now this target is moving in this direction. So identifying the direction of the target and then change the position of the antenna. Just like we say that is what is the location of the missile or guiding the missile in a given particular direction. So antenna is to be a steerable one. So in that case, we need to find out the location here. And we need to consider that antenna beam of a single target here. And if that target is moving, then antenna beam this one is about the antenna beam here. Okay, this is the region of the antenna here. So this one is about the antenna. So moving target will be here. So similarly, the antenna beam is to be moved toward the given particular target. So error between that particular two signal at a given particular point is to be a zero. Means that target is to be tracked by the radar even if the target is moving. Now, present situation target is here. In the next situation, it's supposed to be, I'm saying that the target is here. Now, this target is to be tracked by this radar, identified by this radar. There. So, this one is about the shape of that antenna now. So, now, for a given particular tracking system, what will be the shape of the antenna that radiation pattern of an antenna okay not shape of the antenna radiation pattern of an antenna so based on that radiation pattern of an antenna we can identify the target where or what will be the what is the position of the eternal so in a single tracker it will find out what will be the position of the target and then because the target is moving so here we have at a antenna, okay, so if you consider that there is the antenna, antenna is a steerable one, so it will be move in a given direction. So we get the echo signal that will be maximum at a different, different point so that that antenna will be moved in a given direction. So means we are getting a two signal, one signal from present point okay and another signal previous signal okay so we need to find out what will be the difference in between these two signals so if you consider that while tracking the radar by obtaining an angle error signal that will be used to the servo motor or servo system of this antenna okay and then based on that 
your target is to be identified. If we consider that a small signal error there, okay, small angle error signal present, so we can consider that error means it is small or if it is to be a zero, so in that case we say that the target is that radar is highly accurate or accuracy of the radar is very, very high. Okay, so means radar is accurately tracking that given particular target. So this is generally a tracking system or you can say that single target tracker is nothing but a continuous tracking or a continuous tracker and that will be used mostly in a airport station for tracking of a aircraft or missile target to support the military weapon control system. Okay. Mostly on aircraft, if you see that a airport terminal, if you see that that large dome shape antenna is there and that is continuously tracking the given particular target within a given range. Okay, so there are various antennas to be placed even if you see that uh, in a sea Okay, in a sea, if they, if a, that military ship is there, so if you, uh, if you see that there are a lot of antennas are present and that antennas are various antennas, they are useful for identifying the target and find out the location of the target. That is about a, a tracker system. Okay, so size of the antenna will be different, but the aim is about to track the given particular radar. So we supposed to get the antenna beam is to be a narrow one. For a single target tracker, that beam of the antenna is to be a narrow one. So what are the various types of a beams, antenna beams are there? So there will be the pencil beam. Okay. So if you consider that a pencil beam, so in that case, this one is about the shape of that. It is about a just like very very small okay beam which is very very small okay this is about a, a pencil beam antenna okay so we see that in this particular case that antenna beam will be very very small so beam beam width so what do you mean by beam width suppose i am saying that this one is about a radiation pattern of an antenna okay i consider that instead of that simple way I suppose to consider that this one is about a radiation pattern of an antenna. Where is the maximum? This place is the maximum point. So we need to ob observe a 3db point and a point point out okay these are nothing but what a 3db point. So we will get that a 3db beam width. This is nothing but a, a 3 db beam. So now, so antenna which has a lowest 3 db beam width, okay, so that that antenna beam is called as a, a pencil beam antenna. So we can we see that the antenna radiation pattern. So we will observe that a pattern of an antenna is to be a, a pencil shape one. Okay, so for the given particular pencil shape of an antenna, so what will be the position? Okay, so that will identify the given particular target. I say that for the given antenna. Okay, so if you consider that a pencil beam, so beam width will be very, very large, but this is useful for the tracking the a radar there. So in that case, the beam width of this particular pencil beam antenna, if you consider in terms of a plane there, so horizontal plane or a vertical plane, so it will be equal there. And its beam width is very, very small. And this, because of that small beam width, this 
this type of antenna is useful for accurate location measuring and we can find out the location in terms of what azimuth and its elevation okay say that we can find out that azimuth and elevation so mostly if you consider that we need to find out the range or a velocity of the target okay or we can say that azimuth and elevation of the okay like so we can define the location of this particular target in terms of azimuth elevation as well as in terms of a range and a velocity there okay so there are the defining a location of the moving target there. so this particular pencil beam if you consider that this pencil beam is mostly popular in the tracking radar there. as well as this pencil beam is useful for a air surveillance radar there as well as it is useful to measure the elevation angle as well as the elevation azimuth and a range there so this small pencil beam of uh, we obtain or is we can find consider this single pencil beam antenna in that case that dimension of this that uh, antenna is to be a small or a large so we will consider to design the antenna with a very very narrow beam okay that is about a pencil beam then a fan beam okay. that was a pencil beam now next about a, a fan beam so in the case of a fan beam if you consider that it has a larger region okay so like you can see that there is about a, a fan beam okay so as compared to the pencil beam so i suppose to consider initially a pencil beam like this so pencil beam is about a small one this one is about a pencil beam and in the case of a fan beam it will be larger okay. if you compare that so this is about your a fan beam now now consider that a beam width of this pencil beam and a fan beam as compared to the pencil beam the beam width of this fan beam is will be larger but as compared to the other antenna the beam width will be very very small okay because generally the radiation pattern of an antenna is very very large okay so this way we say that so in that case if supposed to be this one is a larger one so in that case beam width will be very very large so in that case this one fan beam has a less beam width as compared to the other antenna but if you compare with a pencil beam so it has a larger beam width now if you compare in terms of a, a azimuth beam width and a elevation beam width so we can say that this type of a fan beam antenna is useful for the air surveillance there and it has a smaller uh, azimuth beam width there okay and that azimuth beam width will be a very very small or we can say that it is in a, a few degrees there but if you compare with a elevation there so elevation beam width will be a lot so this will be again useful for the air surveillance radar but in the case because this beam width is large so identifying the target okay identifying the moving target in the given range that will be a larger space here okay for this as compared to pencil beam because it will identify only the smaller space region but in the case of the fan beam it will be identifying the larger space okay so we can say that it will find or it will search in a large space in search in a smaller space both the antenna useful for the air surveillance purpose okay but if you consider that uh, so the space used to identifying the given particular target or you can say that a coverage by the antenna of a fan beam will be large as compared to the 
this pension penalty. So that's why, because the coverage of this pension penalty is very, very small. So that's why it is very difficult to find a target in a large volume. Okay. But if you consider with this particular fan beam antenna, because that it has a larger space there, so it will able to identify the target within a given particular space there. Now, this particular pencil beam can be designed using, so to improve the, what you can say that this larger space, so instead of using this pencil beam, single pencil beam, so we can use a multiple pencil beam. Okay, so in that case, so it will be form a array, okay, that is about a page array, and that will provide a multiple pencil beams. So if supposed to be, I draw here, pencil beam now. So likewise. Okay, so now this one. We can say that, so this is nothing but what? A multiple pencil beam. So that's called as a, a stack the beam. Okay, so your beam coverage will be a large using the stacked beam. And this will be occur or this can be obtained through the through an array antenna. Okay, so this one is a single antenna, this one is through the array antenna. So this type of a radiation pattern can be obtained through the array antenna. This is called as a stacked beam one. Okay. And then another shape of the antenna, if you consider instead of a fan beam one, so the shape of the antenna, it has a larger beam. Okay. So we can consider that that's about a shape of that. So we can say that a larger shape of this beam there. Okay, this is about a beam here. So we can say that shape of the beam will be larger. So based on this shape of the beam, we can identify a target easily or locate the target easily. So we say that a single tracker, okay, a single tracking radar, so that will be useful for identifying a single target, okay, but uh, that space for the single particular single target will be a, a small space or a region will be a small. Bit. So then we proceed to the another tracking radar, another type, so automatic detection and track. Okay, so now this one is about the automatic detection and a track. So in this case, it performs a tracking, okay, as a part of this particular radar. So means always it will track the given region, whether there will be target present or not, but that device is continuously tracking, okay. So if you consider that nowadays, we, have, we need, uh, uh, if you see that on a air traffic control system, so that radar is continuously tracking whether any aircraft is present or not in the given particular region or in a border area or in a war, war zone. So in that case, that radar is continuously tracking the radar, means continuously tracking the object target, whether it will be missile or whether it will be aeroplane or a military aeroplane. Okay, so likewise, so it will continuously traffic, tracking this and or uh, that will be useful for the air traffic control there. So mostly automatic detection and track radar that is used in mostly in a military air surveillance there. So it will continuously monitor or it continuously observe the whether the target is present or not there. So that is about what we can say that in terms of the observation rate that will be depends upon that how many times that antenna rotate there. Okay, because antenna is a steerable, so it will rotate, so it will continuously target in a given particular region. So we need to focus that antenna towards the given target. So in that case, how 
that antenna is rotating. So according to that, that antenna is observing the target is present or not in the given particular region there. And that is called as what? A automatic detection. Automatic detection of a, a target. Once the target is detected, and then we can consider that it is to be a track there. So means we need to identify whether that target is present. Once the target is detected, then track the given particular target there. So that is called as a automatic detection of a, a target there. So if you consider that a single tracking radar, okay, single tracking system, in that case, uh, we can consider that a data rate for transmitting, transmission of the tracking radar, we can consider that is about higher we use, okay, earlier. But if you consider that in the case of automatic detection and track, that use data rate, it will be lower as compared to the single tracking target. But the advantage of this particular automatic detection tracking is that it will continuously track a large number of a, a target there. Okay, because it is about automatic detection. So given particular range, so it will, given particular space, it will automatically track the given number of a target. Or so you can say that it will target large number of aircraft in the given particular region there. So that is about detecting and then tracking is a different one. Tracking means what? We, can, we need to find out the target and track the target in the given particular direction. Okay, so here in the case of large number of target is to be detecting here and then for tracking the given particular target, then that antenna is to be a rotating there. So we can control the position of that antenna through the a tracking system. That is called as a automatic detection and a track. Then a phased array. Radar tracking. Okay, this one is about a phased array radar tracking. So in the case of a single target tracker, it is useful for the tracking the single target. Okay, track, it will be a single one. Then we can, we have seen that automatic detection and a target. So it will detect what? A multiple target and then track. Okay. That is about, we can say that the automatic detection of a target. But in the case of this phased array tracking, radar tracking, so it will use to con con continuously tracking a large number of a, a target there. And that large number of target is to be tracked by this phased array. Okay, because I, we have seen that array. Array is nothing but what? A group of antenna. Okay, a group of antenna that is called as an array. Okay, group of antenna element because I suppose to consider that if it is a dipole element. Okay, now it is a dipole now. Dipole is now how it looks like. So I consider that it is about a dipole. Okay, this one is about a dipole antenna. So single dipole. But if you consider that there are the multiple dipoles, you might have seen that a Yagyud antenna. Okay, there are the multiple dipoles. They are connected. Okay, so they are connected either. And this this structure, if you consider that, it is called as an array, array of a dipole. So we can say that dipole array or array of a dipole. So this continue instead of a single antenna, there will be the multiple antennas are there, and that will be useful for detecting the target. Now here in the case of a phased array. Phased array radar tracking. Array means what? Multiple. We have seen earlier multiple beams. Okay, that is about stacked beam. Okay, so just just like a phased array, so it has a larger region. Okay, so it will cover the large area. So that's why it will track the multiple targets. 
So it will track the multiple target means it will identify the multiple target and track those target with a higher data array by electronically steered the phage array antenna. Electronically steered phage array antenna is what? We have the antenna here. Okay. So this is about the you can consider that antenna now. This is about the shape of an antenna. So now we can consider here. So this antenna is to be rotating in the all the direction. Okay, multi. That is about a it will be rotate in this given direction or it will be rotate in the given direction. Okay, so in all the direction. So both. Okay, so or we can say that. So it we just like if you consider that. The antenna is in position here now. So it will be tracking in the given direction. Okay, so like that. So this way we can consider that a phased array antenna. So it has a it, it has a multiple antenna. So, so that way it's called as a phased array there. So it will be tracked in a large number of a target with a variable antenna there. so multiple targets are tracked by this variable antenna or by this particular radar based on this what that whatever the data we supposed to be transmitting that, is a, it, that data rate for this transmission will be a higher data rate there and the targets to be tracked on a time share basis under the computer control device and then that beam is to be rotating as per the whatever the data received or echo signal received so according to that FH array radar tracking will be done there so if you consider that this page array radar tracking mostly it is useful in a air defense weapon system or we can consider that this instrument that is useful for the identifying the multiple object target and as well as a tracking radar okay so this is that, that called as a multiple target tracking radar okay so in another name we can write here for this we can say that multiple target tracking multiple target okay so in the case of a ADT it will track the target okay identifying the target then track given target but it will track the target with a specific time slot given for the given target and then it will tra track okay multiple target track okay then another one that is called as a we have seen that a phase array now track while scan okay. so track while scan means what your antenna or your radar that rapidly scanning in a given particular direction and once it is it will scan the given particular radar then it will track a given target okay so what happened here just like we can consider that the antenna is sending the signal okay so now i say that this one is about the radiation pattern of an antenna or in this particular region, I say that either I'll try I'll draw it in this way also. This is about the scan now, multiple scan in the given particular direction now. So in which particular range, in particular region, because it is rotating. So in initial case, this type of a scan, this type of a lobe, okay, like it. So, so what happened here? It will track. Okay, it will track rapidly or you can say that it will scan rapidly there within a particular 
region or a particular angle okay so that whatever the uh, angle to be defined because that is about a radiation path that is what we can say that a beam width okay so it will scan there track then it's okay so we say that it will can scan first and then then it will uh, it will scan means what it is moving that antenna is moving and then scan that radar is that target is present or not when the target is identifying by this radar then it will track it track the given particular target there but it will be scan and track within the given particular region there because the coverage of that antenna that will tell you how much will be the coverage by this particular antenna so that it will track as well as scan the given particular a target so this one is useful for the air defense system as well as the aircraft landing system or it will be useful in a airborne applications so if you consider that a track while scan because it is scanning and or we have seen earlier that the about automatic detection and track both are similar because but data rate useful because they have high data rate here even if you consider that a track while scan both are higher data but if you consider that a rate of a data in edt and this one is different but near about both the tracking systems near about the same time okay that is about what we can say that a tracking radar so that radar can track target in a range okay means what we can say that means we can track the radar uh, track the target with a range as well as a angle angle means what as a meter or a elevation there and that can be done through what through the doppler shift also or through the what will be the radio velocity of the target okay so then uh, according to that that will be useful that uh, radial target radial velocity as well as the doppler shift is useful for the identifying the target moving target as well as for the head tracking radar so we'll see discuss more on this tracking radar so to understand the tracking radar we will need to learn about that what will be the angle tracking and then angle tracking will be based on that what will be the scanning range of the given antenna there that is used used in a radar so mostly if you consider that we can consider that a radiation pattern of an antenna i suppose to consider this is about radiation pattern of an so this one is about a bow side of an antenna okay so we can consider that this one is about a bore site of an antenna so within the given particular bore site of an antenna if the target is present within this particular bore site then it can be identified so we need to know about the target is present with in which particular bore site okay which in which direction and then that will be a track so with this we stop here Thank you all.